So we're off and running with a batch of more photos of past pics. Uh, this is my store that was on Portage Avenue in the early 90s, up until about 98. And uh, it was about uh, 900 square feet, I guess. So, yeah, you can see my neons and stuff in the windows and the like. There it is there from the front view. Porcelain Coke sign in the window, Pap sign, Diamonds Neon. Um, what else? There's, I don't know, there's some other cool signs. There's a, there's a um, uh, weather vane in there as well. And I think you may have seen this already in a previous one, but it's worth seeing you again. The McCall Frontenac, i.e. Red Indian. Uh, 10 point service poster. Uh, that was a cool piece. And this batch I got out of a hardware store in Winnipeg. Um, I had previously mentioned that I got these fountain pens out of a jewelry store in the States, but as it turns out, I was incorrect. They're from this particular hardware store. But all new old stock was all still on the shelf, uh, and I bought the stuff right off the shelves. So yeah, it was all early 90s. That was the early 90s, and the stuff was all dating from the 60s, 50s, uh, maybe early 70s for these thermoses. But uh, yeah, some Batman and Robin license plates. They were cool. Got a whole case of those. Um, Miniature flashlights, uh, tin tops, um, just some neat stuff. Some really cool stuff, all new old stock. It was great. I like that little hardware store. I bought quite a bit from them over the years. Uh, just some paper stuff there. This was a mall show in Polo Park. You can see me and my bad mustache there. But, uh, yeah. And more stuff in the shop, including a Disney Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse uh, tea set, corgis and dinkies up here, uh, Bullwinkle airplane, a man from uncle license plate, and uh, various other stuff, Batman cup right in the corner there. Candy containers there. Neat stuff. Uh, this was a time clock that I had picked as well with the original uh, time card holder. And Mountain Dew sign. Tin Mountain Dew sign. That was a sim fairly simple sign and probably early 70s or something like that or late 60s. And this is a mini toy uh, ride-on uh, locomotive, can uh, Canadian Pacific one. Actually quite scarce. I wish I had it now. A uh, couple neat pieces of Crimco advertising clock. A Texaco tanker. Uh, I've got a uh, Peter Puck pillow had that up until recently. I had been collecting Peter Puck stuff for a little bit. Hard stuff to come by actually, Peter Puck stuff. Uh, Ansco camera display. And a couple of some road signs, men working, 25 miles per hour, road repairs ahead. And thank you, resume speed. Some uh, new old stock antennas and uh, Timex watch cases. This was a shot of that was in my uh, garage at the time when I was doing picking, so that was 92 or 91, something like that. Ice cream uh, toy. Some gas station stuff and a nice. William Penn can there, Roylite, BA, Goodyear service battery kit, 
Um, got some other tins up there. Several stencils in here. Some sale signs. Sunglasses, lots of vintage sunglasses. Uh, there's some Russell Wright pottery in the showcase there. Kind of a folk art cabinet I picked early on and took a very bad photo of. <laughs> uh, Pepsi Cola Santa Claus. Right there. Just a big stand up. General flashlight display. Uh, new old stock. Uh, Bond XX was kind of a takeoff on James Bond at the time. They didn't have the licensing for James Bond, so they just put Bond XX. Uh, Montclair and Venus fountain pen displays. Again, new old stock. I had uh, half half dozen or eight or ten cases of uh, the Venus ones, and the Montclairs, I think, I had a little less. Porcelain... Uh, bobbing, hair bobbing sign. It was a uh, flange. The flange is a double sided sign by the way that uh, stood out from the walls. Uh, and catalogs. I've got tons of K's wholesale catalogs. Lots of them. All vintage uh, toys and all kinds of stuff in them. I still have I had kept a large quantity of them so I have a bunch now for sale if you're looking for vintage catalogs. The Marshall Wells and Reproduction Eaton's one, but uh, there's a lot of other vintage ones there. I had these for years in my own collection, so I just put them out recently, so they're available now, even though that's an early photo. Uh, I did a show called, it was a toy show, Strictly Toys, so I set up there, and uh, that's my booth there. Another shot of that booth. And another shot of that booth. And another shot of that booth. Wasn't a big producer money-wise. This was an antique show. Uh, Calgary again, I guess. You can see a meteor pedal car and uh, somebody buying some stuff there and making a pile which was pretty normal for those days. There, the shows were much better then, and uh, there was a lot of buying going on before uh, the doors opened even. Unlike now, it seems a lot slower. There's my booth again. And there it is again. And side internal view of it. Had quite a quite a bit of advertising. There's some neat Nesbits there. Some neat uh, cardboard trolley car signs up here. Oops. Showcase close up. There's a um, pumpkin head ball which was kind of cool. Red Wing One Gallon, which used to be super popular. Another Pumpkin Head piece. Pumpkin Head was a teddy bear character from Eaton's. From Eaton's department stores. Another shot. Had a couple of these Pepsodent signs. Kind of a cool just graphic sign and these are lamps that I had redone I was redoing quite a few lamps uh, pole lamps and such they were popular at the time so I was getting them repainted and uh, completely refurbishing them uh, more catalogs Oops. and more catalogs more catalogs, yeah, more catalogs. And bottles. Of course, there's always got to be bottles. So there's several there. Uh, <clears throat> I 
I got in a large quantity of these Jamaica Dry and Frosty bottles, so I was wholesaling them in quantity. <clears throat> sure Tan Sun Tan Lotion Sign. Some more drugstore signed Ben Lankoff syrup and uh, Coots cards. Some more signs Dental Hygiene and Mother's Day. More Mother's Day and Father's Day gift signs. And uh, it was Robert's Pharmacy or Robert's Drugstore that uh, got in a, a large quantity of them. They had saved pretty much every cardboard sign they had ever had, I think. And when they closed, I ended up buying them out. I bought stuff from them uh, before that as well. So Anyway, more... Yeah, Robert's Drug Store, 1923 and 1992. That's what uh, they were in business for all those years. And most of the stuff I bought was from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, though. But they had a toy section and that sort of thing as well, so there was lots of neat stuff. Anyway, a lot of uh, more cardboards. Every day is somebody's birthday. Sign and... Take advantage of the crazy sale. Some more cardboards. More cardboards. More cardboards. Career in pharmacy. And vitamins for health. And more of them. There's just an Art Deco um, sign box. There's more cardboards. More cardboards. They're circled because that's ones the movies ended up purchasing from me. Um, and a sunburn sign. And this was a salesman sample blinds sign or not sign, display. It was uh, meant to show off the different colors of uh, Venetian blinds you could buy. Colgate toothbrush display. Trechikoff. Nesbitt's um, kite. And this was kind of a drunk tester is what it was. It was so you could see how far down you could get before touching the side. So see how steady your hands are. And there's the uh, Venus pens and uh, such again. Uh, just a granite ware grinder. There's a Hot Wheels display right there. Kleenex tissues, red hunter's tissues. They were uh, specially for hunters, so you could mark your uh, pathway, I guess, or where you've been. Kind of a unique uh, thing. And they... Uh, let's see. This was a filter system, I think. I think by Red Wing. I'm not sure. There's a Knight's Aurora model kit. Some more Aurora kits. And these were all animals and such. I've got quite a few Aurora kits over the years. And that is a Davy Crockett brush potteries, I think it was. Davy Crockett cookie jar. That's what that is. This is just a ghost sign that I'd spotted on some building somewhere and had to document it, sort of. <laughs> These are not mine. These were somebody else's. This was a collection of a fellow that collected airplane ashtrays. And that's uh, some of what he had. Not even all of them. That's just some of them. So, yeah. So there's lots of variations out there of airplane ashtrays, but he had a horde of them. 
kind of a mid-century modern slash art deco ice bucket. Dalmatians display from Eaton's. Uh, kind of a medical kit of some kind. Pepsi sign. And I got a couple of these Pepsi signs. I got three different ones. They're all basically the same. Same looking, but they were different. Different sizes and such. That's another one. And uh, some uh, KFC awards that I picked up. There's another one. Squirt King Size sign. And I think that's going to be about it for this round. Uh, still got lots of photos to do. I'm sure I've got uh, probably another video at least. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.